So in a few minutes, we're going to be in a timeshare presentation. Ah, uh, I hate these things. Oh my goodness. You know what I really <gasps> dislike? I do not like being emotionally manipulated. And these things are always so, such high pressure, so much stress. Here's the deal. We actually can't afford to upgrade our timeshare right now. Not right now. And we're also not anti-timeshare. We actually have a timeshare. That's why we're in Vegas right now. We're using our timeshare points to stay here for a bit. I just don't like being so high pressured. So That's we're right. going to film this presentation a little bit. We're going to talk about it with you. And we're yep. going to give you some tips and tricks on how to survive, how to survive a timeshare presentation. A timeshare presentation. Yeah. So Lisa, tell me no. No. Come on, you can do that. <laughs> give me a no face. One more time. No. No. <laughs> Not I can't do no. it. I'm way too cheerful. Um, no. So if you ever find yourself in that position where you want the free gift, and you've committed to a timeshare yeah. presentation. They're usually an hour to two hours long. Um, watch this video ahead of time and maybe we we'll can We'll give you the you tips. Out. We're gonna help you out. That's right. We'll help you survive. That's Surviving. Good. Let's go do this thing. No. 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 Got, it? Got it? Got it. Is that, you understand? I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. Let's get this done. We came in to this timeshare presentation with a strategy. Yes, we did. So one of the strategies we used, well, I'll give, okay, one that was specifically for me, Kent said, take tons of notes. Yes. I took like, okay, I took like one, two, three, four pages of notes. I basically wrote down um, everything that was happening in the room, also everything that was being said in the room, as well as the time. And the I took reason. notes and it, and it was, a powerful thing just to be sitting there doing scribing that, you know, all of the, the notes whole, doing the whole like you know here's my notes mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay <laughs> we found it was very helpful for lisa to not be the person who's physically uh engaged with the person talking because yes. lisa's emotions will get pulled and in, in stretched in many dire directions i get so um, I don't know, like I just really get connected with a person, just like the person to person connection, human to human, you know? So it's really hard for me to separate the, the human from the, the presentation and from, the, from the, the product that they're offering, which is what they want. They want you to not be able to separate that. So yeah. being able to break eye contact and take notes was huge for me. And then the other thing, yes. another huge thing that we did, we made a deal that Kent would be doing basically all of the talking. Yes. Right. So um, that helped a lot too, because I could just refer to him. Ask me a question, I would just look at Kent. Like you answer it. Yeah, that's right. You answer right. it. You know. So that it wasn't a ping pong game between the two of us. And of course, we're already on the same page before we even get up there. Yes. So how low did they go? How low can you go? They gave us a really good deal. They really did. I mean, the, as far as the presentation goes and the sales job and stuff, they did a great job. But we had already decided we don't need more timeshare. We're actually, actually, we're trying to sell our timeshare. <laughs> so, so if you want to buy a timeshare, <laughs> leave it in the comments. No, <laughs> just, <laughs> See right here. yeah, so we don't, so, we actually don't need more timeshare and we need yeah. that going in. So the going in, basically we said they're giving us some swag, some, yeah. some deals. You know what? We were walking through the parking lot of this resort to go for a walk and a guy approached us tell us what you noticed about the guy well he's wearing it first of all he's wearing a name badge which we've noticed keep going expound on that oh he's wearing a name badge and then when we went through the caesar palace and we got asked by the guys from wyndham uh if we wanted to take in a break free breakfast and, and a free show and 
Uh, do you want to see any of these free shows? They were all wearing name badges. Name tags. So beware the name tag. So the name you... tag is a clue yes. that they are officially selling you something. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so we're walking to the parking lot. This guy with the name tag approached us, started chatting about stuff. Again, starting with the whole personal thing. So you yeah. got any kids? Why are you here? Blah, blah, blah. And then he offered us this special gift. It was actually a $100 Visa card. So if you want to see this presentation, to... well, I'm totally saying I don't That's care. Right. And, um, and we said, sure. So if you want and, to... And here's... Oh, go ahead. If you're going to say sure, then use this special line. Is that everything that you can offer me? Or could you offer me something more to make sure I'm at this special meeting? <laughs> So that's one thing to do for sure. Don't leave anything on the table. And the other thing is when they, what you're looking for is you're looking for them to say something like um, no obligation. That's right. Because if there really is no obligation, then you do not need to feel bad about going to a presentation, saying no and receiving the gift. That's right. Because they know that you're going to, like nine times out of 10, people say no anyway. And a lot so of people okay. feel like, well, they gave us something. We have to give them something. You did. You gave them your time. Yep, exactly. So, and you know what? If it's too much pressure, then just say no to the guy yes. on the street. Don't even talk to them. Like just, you see someone with a name badge and you say, not interested and just keep on walking. So that's also an option. And that's a oh, good option. And for someone like me, that's a good option. I'm oh, like, and guess what? But again, I don't want to talk to people on the street. I'm like, the, yeah, I want to chat. I know. <laughs> and you don't want to treat them I don't as like ignoring poor. people. I totally freaking so, out. So we actually did get asked by quite a few other people, hey, where are you staying? Or, I'm not trying to sell you anything. But. But, be careful. Yeah, especially in so, places like Vegas yes. or other big touristy areas yeah. you're going to get. And there's one more talked. thing. Uh, what was a deal breaker for us when we were in the um, casino and they asked us, where are you staying? Mm -hmm. Hey, can we offer you a free breakfast? All this stuff. We played along for a bit. Yep. We're like, okay, sure. Yeah, we could probably do that. Free breakfast and sounds then, good. A free or show a sounds free show, good. that yeah. sounded good. Yeah. They wanted us to put down a cash deposit out of my pocket to make sure I'm at their breakfast. No I'm like, go. not going to happen. It was just a security deposit to make sure that you actually showed, showed up. Showed up. I'm like, hey, my word is my bond. If I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. And that wasn't good enough. They wanted actual cash. They said, so, okay. I so I reached <laughs> in and grabbed my document, my ID, and said, Thank you. Goodbye. And the next sound that I heard was the sound of a piece of paper being torn in half. <laughs> it was awesome. She's just like, because she had written down all of our information. Anyway. We survived. We, we survived the timeshare presentation. And I, I think we did it kindly enough. Oh, yeah. We weren't. Because mean. I don't think you want to be a rude jerk. I think you still want to be a nice person yeah. to people. But be respectful. But be firm and just know going in what you want to say, what your decision will be. Yep. And, and stay on the same page with your spouse. And you know what, guys? If you want to buy a timeshare, buy a timeshare. We're but, not against timeshares at all. But always use this line. If you're going to buy a timeshare and you're in that room. What else can you offer me? What else can you offer me? <laughs> or is that the best you can do? Or is that the best you can do? Exactly. How low can you go? Exactly. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us with our timeshare experience. Oh, we were gonna film a whole bunch in the room, but they specifically approached us and asked us to please not film. So again, that's part of the being respectful. Yes. So we chose not to film while we were in there. But um, anyway, Lisa, thanks for joining us. Yeah, oh, go ahead. I think Lisa snuck a couple pictures, but we'll see. I did, I think I, I tried anyway. Yes. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this highly emotional journey today. And hope you got some tips that might help you out next time you get accosted on the street asking <laughs> for a timeshare meeting. And uh, hey, if you do it, great. And if not, that's fine too. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. We totally appreciate that. If you've never met us before, Kent and I actually live full time in our motorhome. So that is kind of a fun thing that we do. And we vlog about that. So go ahead and subscribe and we will see you next Thursday.